All right, so welcome. If you have Taurus as one of your personal placements in your birth chart, then this reading is for you. Um, it's an Earth Day reading, and it is um, like Earth Day season. So I'm recording with my phone. The cards are pre-shuffled, and I'm just going to cut them on camera. Your first card is the rose. I'm going to read this out of the booklet. It says, Hanging a rose from a ceiling is a tradition which started with Romans and continues today. It indicates that any conversation which takes place in its presence must be kept in the strictest confidence. It's time to finally tell that secret that's been gnawing away at you. Choose your confidant carefully. It may be that they have something they've also been wanting to share. Your relationship can only grow stronger through trusting each other. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna set this up here. And I'm also gonna read out of the booklet for these cards from the Gaia Oracle get you a couple of them. Ocean of eternal love, healing, creativity, and fertility. And night wind, facing fear, subconscious release, and healing. <clears throat> But these really dark energies, like nighttime energies, I feel like something could be happening at night for you. Maybe it's a dream you have or an idea you have, um, a sign, or maybe it's an outing. But I just feel this connection to nighttime. Um, okay, so let's see what the booklet says for these. The page numbers. You also have master number 44 showing up if you want to look that up in numerology to expand your messages. Feels like a, a bit of a portal energy for you. Okay, the passage says, It is said that love conquers all. This is especially true for you at the moment. Something is resolved and healed through love. What was previously barren now becomes fertile. A seed is planted and you are the co-creator. The conditions are favorable, the timing is right, a new creation awaits you. The birth of something new brings joy and excitement. The forever changing seasons of eternity turn their invisible wheel and a new cycle begins. A new image is born. And there's some affirmations in the booklet as well I'll read to you um, if you want to write them down or work with them in any way. It says, love heals, love brings resolution, love conquers, love creates love is eternal night wind <clears throat> okay the passage for night wind says this card relates to the disturbed sleep patterns vivid dreams or nightmares you have been experiencing something is troubling you yet you are not openly acknowledging this either to yourself or others this unresolved issue has created fear and anxiety which you have yet to resolve. Because of this, your subconscious mind is processing the issue as you sleep. The fear resurfacing in your dream time and time again in various forms and guises. This is your subconscious mind. This is your subconscious mind's way of dealing with the issue and forcing you to face your fear. On some level, this is helpful. However, the only way this issue can be resolved is by consciously facing your fear. First, truly acknowledge your fear. Express it in detail by writing it down. Then share it by talking about it with someone you trust. This simple process takes some courage, but it is well worth it. Acknowledging and expressing your fear is the first major step towards healing this issue. 
you will find that all will be resolved soon. And the affirmations with this card include, <clears throat> I share my fears and concerns with those I trust and love. There is nothing to fear. There is only love. All will soon be resolved. I am safe. I am loved. I face my fear and feel it dissolve in a pool of love. It's also something to do. These things, they're things you can do. Um, cool. The last one, I face my fear and feel it dissolve in a pool of love, really stood out to me. <clears throat> okay, so we'll get you your tarot next. Yeah, the jellyfish reverse, it's like taking the sting out. That feels like a theme here around this time, taking the, the sting out. And with the four of branches following, it's going to be um, something to celebrate. Some of you, there's a formal celebration as well, or you could be co-creating, planning a formal celebration of some sorts with the four of wands. <clears throat> So, as far as zodiac signs go, you have your own energy over here in reverse position, the guardian of fossils. This could also be Capricorn energy, Virgo energy. You have fire sign energy also in reverse position. So Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, the year I'm reading in, there's a retrograde happening through the sign of Aries that it is influencing things to a degree um, but this could also represent again your own energy your fire energy your passion your actions um, and the earth energy maybe your health or your finances the tangible world there being some sort of blockage or some sort of challenge or imbalance here it could be with other people who have personal placements in earth or fire also um, <clears throat> But I think maybe like working through this is coming up as a theme through love. Absolutely. The heart awakener energy here at the end, five of major arcana. It's bringing in a more fertile energy for you. And it's saying that you can tap into that fertile energy. Okay. So you have the seer of branches, the 10 of fossils here, the three of fossils, the six of shells. Yeah, so emotional balance, emotional balance, relief, harmony, love is of great importance. It's really assisting you and situations in your world. Um, the three of fossils feels like some sort of collaboration, maybe working together with others around finances, money, tangible things, health related things, um, just connecting with earth too. Um, the seer of branches talks about Well, it's the fox. So it is the clever energy. It is a clever energy. It can be a manipulative energy as well. Um, but I feel like it's talking about like mindful action, uh, being mindful with your actions in the Sierra of Branches and taking divinely inspired action to bring in prosperity and abundance, the Ten of Fossils. There's something long term here. There's like a loyalty long-term um, abundance being represented with the Ten of Fossils. Um, but there's definitely this message about the heart matters, the heart counts, tapping, tapping into the heart. Some of you could have a heart chakra awakening um, or healing coming in in relation to that or somebody that you're connected with does around this time. Okay, um, I'm also getting water being healing, relaxing, depending on how you're working with it, but you certainly can choose to work with it in a way that's therapeutic here with the six of shells. Okay, so let's see. Next up, let's get you a self-love card. We're going to get, yeah, just one self-love card Yeah, for Taurus. Success. Okay. Today is a really good day. You're in the flow. Problems are solved quickly and easily. Helpful people show up for you and unexpected gifts fall into your lap. You can use that as an affirmation also if you're inspired to do that. 
that's coming through as um, an opportunity. There's the potential for that, and you, know, you can take it as a prediction too. <clears throat> okay, and from the Earth Magic deck, Taurus. like there's a softening of something there could have been an energy of being somebody being defensive or like an attack mode um, with the bear with the tiger with the jellyfish but they're all reversed so it's like a softening of that a liberation from that and you still have the bee here so it's like you are protected your loved ones can still be protected your projects can still be protected but it's moving into more of a, a synergy and an energy that's harmonious you're harmoniously co-collaborating with Earth and um, others. Dawn, new beginnings. Could also be something special happening around dawn. Okay, again, like ideas, um, taking note of your dreams or working with affirmations or something coming in around dawn. But yeah, new beginnings. Um, of course, that could be somebody's name too. Music, harmony and volcano volatility so um i feel like this is going to be different for different people but for some of you there is some sort of eruption or some sort of breakthrough with the the energy i was talking about about the heart chakra awakening the opening whether it's yours or somebody else's they could be going through a challenging time or there is some sort of eruption this could also be collective energy like something goes on on the planet um that shakes things up or you know in a specific area location um, but I feel like mostly this is talking about choice having choice of like working in harmony and this flow and tapping into that loving nourishing energy or staying in this energy of volatility and um, outbursts and, and things like that Okay, because they are reversed, so, like, the energy isn't healed or cleared up completely right now. It may be, like, again, like, something connected to your subconscious. Your subconscious is trying to get your attention. Something um, is being, like, overlooked or suppressed, um, pushed down. And if that continues, there could be that eruptive energy, or there has been in the past. But um, it's not, like, the way that it has to be definitely not the way that it has to be it feels like there's playful energy around too like the universe is calling you out to play to be in an energy of joy and love and to um see that within others and uh, just be a part of that okay um it's yeah there might still be a need to like have your wits about you with the fox but um i feel like you know, if your heart's in the right place, the universe has your back. There's loyalty here. That's the message coming through with that. Okay. Um, if your heart's in the right place and you're you're taking right action, I guess I should say. Yeah. Okay. So, and right action is, it's not necessarily like doing exactly what you're told. It's doing what you, it's tapping into that energy um, beneath the surface and like bringing the, the love it's it's being in harmony with love and um, doing what you know your soul and your heart and, and spirit is telling you is right okay so for Taurus we have quilt this is like an energy of collaborating, building something together, and co-creating maybe. Maybe also some sort of upcycling project, like quilting. Um, could be fun right now. Could be like a an idea, advice coming through. Okay, the quilt. Um, or maybe just observing other people's upcycled work, quilts, and so forth. It could be cold where you are still, some of you. Just talking about staying warm. Um, the kite is in reverse, but it's there nonetheless. The kite, the fern, the gravel, 
So yeah, there's this energy of resourcefulness too with the fox here, the button, the quill. It's like being able to take what you have and make something new and functional, practical from that. Um, you might see some ferns or be around ferns at this time. Same thing with gravel. Your reading's giving me this message about like, you gotta, metaphorically, the, the soil needs to be fertile for things to grow in, okay? And literally, too, if you're doing gardening, but, um, you know, all this fire energy is, is like gravel, and not much grows in gravel. So it's talking about making things fertile so growth can occur. And that's bringing success. You have the trophy here. It's the top card now. All right, do we have any other ones or do we finish this? We just finished your reading, Taurus. So it was a pleasure reading for you. I hope this helped. Leave a thumbs up and a comment if you want to. And um, it did. And many blessings. Happy Earth Day. Bye-bye.